edition, I am going to be making it. I have my chicken breast all day. That's my way. Every single day. I'm gonna make something. At this time, the onion is done, and remember, we chop this up. Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie's Kitchen and in today's edition I am going to be making chicken alfredo with broccoli again I'm gonna be making chicken alfredo with broccoli so it's gonna be more like two parts cooking so over here I have my chicken breast all chopped up so no skin this is skinless okay so it's all chopped up to the sizes that I prefer so I'm going to cook it before adding it to the main meal. So uh, while I'm cooking it, I'm going to add the spices to it. I have onion powder. I have ground ginger. I have black pepper. I have parsley flakes. I have thyme. I have salt, of course. And I have a cube of Maggi. And I'm going to add a little bit of that onion, okay? So I have my pasta over here, which is about five cups of pasta. So over here, I'm using the bow tie type of pasta. You can use any type of pasta of your choice, but in this particular cooking, I'm using the bow tie. So I have five cups of pasta here. And I have broccoli, approximately two and a half cups of broccoli. Okay, so I have chopped it to the sizes that I want. And I have my bell peppers over there. I have chopped it again to the sizes that I prefer. So I have the orange and I have the red and I have the green bell peppers all chopped up. And I have habanero pepper, just a half of one. So it depends on how hot that you want your pasta to be, okay? That's how much pepper you're going to add. And I have about four cloves of garlic all chopped up. And I have grated Parmesan cheese. So that's more like a um, half cup of this uh, grated Parmesan cheese, okay? All right, and I have a cup of mushroom. I like mushroom a lot in my meals, okay? As long as it's edible, I always wanna add more of vegetables okay then i have my chopped onion i'm using white onion in this cooking so i had a very large onion so i just chopped it up and i'm gonna use two cubes of maggi again another thing you're gonna need is the alfredo sauce this is one of the main ingredients that you need in this uh, chicken alfredo so again i'm gonna be adding alfredo sauce to it and i'm gonna need about Two teaspoon, two tablespoons of oil, any oil of your choice, okay? So this is to prep the onion and the um, bell peppers, okay? All right, so that's pretty much what you need. Okay, guys, so I'm prepping the chicken. So I'm just cooking the chicken. That's the ginger powder. Then I'm going to add the thyme. Okay, so on this time I have half teaspoon or uh, half tablespoon of thyme. Then I'm going to add my onion powder. That's another half tablespoon of onion powder. Then I'm going to add my parsley flakes. That would be another half tablespoon of parsley flakes, okay? Then I'm just going to do a little bit of this uh, black pepper grinder, okay? Alright, so that's just to spice it all up, okay? Then at this time, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, okay? And I just turn it all up. Okay, so this is optional. I'm going to add like a quarter cup size of chicken broth. 
into this so this is mainly to bring out the taste of this chicken to make it very very tasty i'm gonna add a little butter to this boiling water before i put the pasta in there so this is to make the pasta not to be sticky when it's done okay all right then you're gonna add a little bit of salt to the boiling water again if you don't want to add butter you can always add maybe two tablespoons of oil you know uh, vegetable oil or any other oil of your preference so this is my pasta I'm just gonna pour it into this um, boiling water okay so we are actually multitasking so I have oil in this my cooking pot and I just added the onion okay so we are multitasking So I'm just gonna allow this um, onion to dry up a little bit then I will check on the chicken so the chicken is cooking very well remember I added some um, chicken broth to it so that's this food you are seeing okay all right okay over here I'm gonna check on the pasta so the pasta is cooking very very well okay so at uh, this time i'm gonna add the garlic the onion is done enough just the way i want it so i'm gonna be adding the bell peppers okay so this is done just the way i want it i'm gonna be adding the mushroom Okay guys, so as you can see, this part is totally done, okay? Alright, so now I can add my pepper. Then I'm going to add my pasta. So this was done and I uh, kind of um, drained it. So my heat is on low right now. So I'm just going to mix it to make sure that everything mixes very well before adding the next ingredient. Okay, so I have also added the Maggi cubes, okay? So now I'm going to add the Alfredo. I'm going to mix. So just in case you're not able to get hold of Alfredo, you can use shredded cheese, okay? Okay, so I'm going to add the chicken that I parboiled earlier. Mm, the aroma is so good, so powerful. So now I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese. Okay, so that's going to give it another distinctive flavor. Okay. Oh my, my, my. So I'm going to add the broccoli. Wow, excellent. So 
so after adding everything you give it three to five minutes and also taste for salt okay so this meal is totally done as you can see the I just turned off the heat so again this is chicken alfredo with broccoli this looks so delicious and smells so delicious the aroma is so good and powerful mm -mm -mm. wow you need to taste this honestly you do all right okay so this is the end of my cooking so as you can see this looks so beautiful delicious and attractive okay and it smells so good so if you're here come and eat with me <laughs> okay guys okay family thank you all so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie's kitchen as you can see this is this chicken alfredo is looking so beautiful you can see the broccoli the chicken the mushroom the bell pepper everything mixed up so well and very creamy and if you can see the whole thing just imagine how powerful and tasty it's going to be okay so I have made myself a plate I am so hungry I can't wait to sit down and eat it looks so good oh my goodness thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie's kitchen I love you guys see you next time please stay safe out there okay bye and in today's edition I am going to be making it I have my chicken breast all day